took a dark, unassuming patch of sky to find young galaxies twinkling at the edge of the cosmos. For the Hubble Deep Field, it was important that we get a uh, essentially unblocked view of the distant universe. Uh, we want it to be unblocked by anything in our own galaxy, that is bright stars or dust in our galaxy. We wanted to avoid any bright nearby galaxies that might have essentially dominated the picture. And so we had to do some studies to find a field of sky that was essentially boring in every way uh, so that we could uh, look at the distant galaxies. The team targeted Hubble's continuous viewing zone, narrow patches of sky near the north and south poles where Hubble can stare for several days without being blocked by the Earth. The long exposure brings out wispy detail in galaxies as far as 12 billion light years away but the telescope also captures light that astronomers need to filter out. The problem is that uh, the telescope itself is subject to uh, radiation from charged particles, most of which come from the solar wind. And those also leave little spots of light on the detector. And so when you see one of the Hubble images, it's covered with these spots, like measles. So you have to take a whole bunch of pictures. These spots will move around because they're not on the sky, but the galaxies and the stars will stay there. So you take a whole bunch and you combine them together, keeping only the things that don't change from image to image. In all, it took 350 images with three different color filters for the team to piece together the final Hubble Deep Field image. Well, the thing that amazes me when I look at the Hubble Deep Field, first of all, is just how many galaxies there are. This tiny spot on the sky and Almost everything you see in the image is a galaxy. Each of those galaxies has anywhere from a billion to 100 billion stars in it. So we have before us in this image the history of the universe, if we can figure out what it's trying to tell us. Um, and in many ways, it's like going out on a very dark night and staring up at the sky. And you realize how tiny a part of the sky it is, and yet you're seeing these vast systems of stars. What an amazing universe it is we're looking at.